Okay, folks, welcome back to the second video today. I couldn't really wait any longer, and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually try to progress the storyline a little bit. I haven't fought Joey or Mikey yet, so we're going to do that first. I haven't totally finished grinding, but uh, I think I've done enough to just sort of get things going. And I actually was recording another video after grinding earlier, up to l all, th all three of the non-starters being level 7 and all that good stuff, but then the game crashed again. And so now what I'm going to be doing is, I'm sorry, I'm going to abuse save states, but never to change the results of a fight. I'm simply going to use save states a lot in case the game freezes again, which has been happening disturbingly much. So pretty much like after every trainer fight, after every catch, after every little grinding session I'm going to I'm going to use a save state and I could and that's only because I could use the save normal save function in the game but the reason I'm not going to do that is because it's going to take a long time to do that this the emulator save takes a long time so I'm just going to use the save states instead as sort of a stopgap measure uh, in order to deal with that problem as long as it persists and I expect that it will persist so I'm going to do this in order to not have to deal with that anymore. But as you can see here, I am uh, now playing at night, and so the encounters will be slightly different. Uh, I haven't been to Route 31 yet, haven't been to Dark Cave yet, obviously, since the only way to go is through Youngster Mikey, and he still hadn't been fought. So that's what I'm doing now, is uh, getting to where we were before, basically. I'm not happy to be in a situation where I need to do that. And that did a lot of damage. We're going to swap out because we don't want anybody getting knocked out, especially this early in the game. <laughs> See, this guy's Rotata is top percentage. Um, you know, Vivera's level 5 now. And learned Leer. Good, good, good. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, swap uh, Starburst to the front of the party. Because we got to catch a couple of new buddies. Starting with somebody up here on Route 31. Oh, although we do have to fight a bug catcher up here. So we'll put Vivera back in front and uh, let her take care of the bugs. I don't think she'll be able to one-shot all the bugs, but it'll be close enough that shouldn't be too much of a danger. So that's next step, I guess, is to fight this bug catcher. Well, again, I want to apologize to everybody for the technical difficulties I've been having because it was obviously not my intention to have that sort of crap happen while I'm playing this game. I guess I've got a faulty ROM here or something to that effect. So I'm going to be using a lot of save states to make sure we get through it. And in the event I do have to use a save state to get back to where I was, I will pause the recording so that you don't have to watch me do everything all over the exact same way again. So, okay. Uh, save to slot one, and we will put Starburst in front like I originally planned, and we will attempt us a uh, visual bug. That's interesting. Okay, but we got to uh, fight ourselves a Pokemon here, and see if we get lucky and catch something. Oh, a Hoot Hoot! I don't have one of these. I may decide to use the Hoot Hoot instead of the Spiro in my party going forward because, well, I almost used a Knocked Owl in my Diamond Run, for those of you who watched that. Uh, and, uh, well, the, um, I'm kind of interested in using one because they seem like they get a really interesting and useful moveset, so we'll have to see about that. Uh, let me just load up my random noun generator to see what this thing's now name is. One moment. And just letting you know to see what noun I got. Smoke. So, back to the game. Your name is Smoke. Which is a pretty cool name. Thank you, random noun generator. And as you can see here, I've got the... Uh, this When this particular bug happens in this ROM, the screen goes black. But everything else works fine. And the way to solve this is to save the game as I am doing now. 
do 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 there we go game saved and then we reset the ROM and then uh, once it loads everything should be in working order again and it is alright so I don't know I guess I have to fight again another hoot hoot okay this one I want you to kill Starburst just like that oh well not quite just like that good work um, and then we'll uh, pop into the cave here dark cave of course and grab this item first oh that'll be handy okay uh, now let's pop into the cave it took me forever to actually find something last time maybe I'll have a little bit speedier luck this time in actually finding some kind of thing to fight here do, do. Okay, there we go. What do we got this time? And we do get a Geodude like we did last time, which is good. Uh, so let's just wear him down. I'm not going to name it Accountant because this is the different Geodude than Accountant. So it wouldn't be right to name him Accountant. Whoo, I'm glad that critical hit came on that one. All right, let's throw a Pokeball. Do, do. Yay, got it. All right, all right, all right. Looking good, guys. Looking good. All right, so let's use the noun generator. I'm not even going to pause the video this time. Use the noun generator and generate me a noun. Kangaroo. All right, Kangaroo the Geodude. <laughs> Very awesome. Kangaroo the Geodude. All right. That's a cool name. All right, so we got a couple of new buds to grind. Let me uh, compare here. Uh, let's see, your stats. Okay, you have a brave nature, which is low speed, high attack. And you have a modest nature, which is up special attack, lowered attack. Hmm, you actually fill completely different roles in the party. Uh, and my Geodude is timid, which is minus attack plus speed. Oh, that's a God awful nature for a geo dude. Well, you still be what I need to get through Faulkner, so that's fine. I guess we'll grind you both until I find a suitable replacement. Uh, Vivera and Smoke. Vivera's got better stats all around, though. I think Smoke might have a higher speed EV. Ugh. I think I'm probably gonna have to put Smoke in the box. In fact, yeah. With that low attack stat and so few special attacks being flying, or flying moves being special, I'm going to have to box you. Which is, you know, I don't need two normal flying types, so I guess that's the way we're going to do things this time. Yeah, you know what, let's just run away. we got to get back to heal, and uh, we have a Geodude to grind as well. Uh, so I'm not going to run you guys through the tedious process of grinding a attack lord nature geodude so I'm gonna pause the recording here again and we will readjourn when I have something to report aside from grinding see you guys in a little bit okay I've done a little bit of grinding I mean I've got a long way to go as you can see here still got a long way to go on the grind but I did make it to Violet City and I am at Sprout Tower and I do need to make a catch here, so these combination of these factors has led me inside a Sprout Tower because I do need to make a catch. Uh, so let me go ahead and put... Okay, Vivera is out in front. That's good. Talk to the people in here. Okay, okay, okay. I think Pokemon start appearing on the second floor. It is at night! So there is a chance I could get a Ghastly, which would be pretty freaking handy. Uh, I could also catch a Rattata or a Bellsprout in here. So let's see what I wind up getting. I have to fight you, don't I? Yeah, okay. Well, fortunately, I've got a Spearow leading my party. And my Spearow has Peck, and you have Bellsprouts. So this should end about as well as you'd expect for Mr. Bellsprout, Monk Guy. Yes, yes, send in another bell sprout for my for my bird to eat. Yes, thank you. 
Yeah, level 7. And you can just stay in there. You need to get ground up to starter levels anyway. <laughs> and these things are just cake for you, so it's easy. All right, thank you, Sage Nico, for the money. And then we press on. And what's our catch? Whatever it is, it's fresh. Lucky I get a ghastly if I can get him. Okay. So, Peck. That's going to have to do. Pokeballs, go. Ah. Oh, you put my Spiro to sleep. That's okay. I continue to attempt to sleep you. Ah. See, I'm glad I brought so many Pokeballs. That should make, you know, make it a little more sure that I will eventually catch this thing. Ah! I only have eight Pokeballs to go. There we go. Caught me a Ghastly. So that should prove handy. We'll go to the Noun Generator. Generate. Saw! Perfect! Absolutely perfect! <laughs> That's awesome. Your name is Saw. <laughs> <laughs> That's hysterical. All right, well, since we are doing okay, I guess we'll progress the west of the way through the Sprout Tower. I think we're in... With uh, Vivera leading the way, I think we're in pretty good shape to beat most of the trainers in here, probably including the Sage. By the time she gets to the top, she should be level 9 or 10. And uh, that should be plenty. Uh, she's asleep, but Bellsprout can't hurt a bird, so... Down goes Bellsprout. Another Bellsprout. Thank you, Sage Chow, for the free experience. Down goes Bellsprout. Hey, another Bellsprout. Thanks for the free experience. Down goes the Bellsprout. Honestly, I should have just let... You know, Vivera's out walking around right now. I walk up to these guys. They should probably just seriously just hand me their money right away so I don't damage their precious bell sprouts because that's what happens. <laughs> I, well, the, I do know, though, that the, the sage at the end of it, the elder guy, has a hoot hoot. So I am going to have to do a little bit more creative solutions to the hoot hoot. Um, I'll probably leave Vivera in there for a couple of leers and then put in Kangaroo to finish it since the Hoot Hoot won't be able to hurt, uh, really, uh, hurt my Geodude. Call it practice for Faulkner, basically. Yep, yep, yep. Toasty, toasty, toast. Thank you, Sage Edmund, for the free cash. We progress on up the tower. Hey, an item. Potion. Hey, that's handy. All right, fight a Sage. Training to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Well, there are worse things. Sage Jin has a level 6 Bellsprout. It's still going down in one hit. Okay, this one's going to take two. No problemo, says Vivera, who learned Fury Attack. Which is kind of a terrible move. <laughs> but it'll be okay on things that Peck doesn't hit very hard. The Elder's TM lights up Pitch Black Darkness. Yeah, Flash, we knew. Another Bell Sprout. This one's level six. Will this one survive? Just barely. Doesn't matter. Down it goes. Rivera is level nine. We'll probably hit level ten on this Sage. I hope. Let's see. A level seven Bell Sprout. You'll definitely live through a pack. And then a second one will kill you. But that should be level 10 for Favera. Yes, it is. This guy has a hoot hoot. All right. Well, Kangaroo can take care of it. Because the hoot hoot can't hurt Kangaroo. Not really. Two. Yeah. You'll be able to take it down. Ah, Lissai. Hypnosis. Growl. You're just prolonging the inevitable. Take it down. Come on, kangaroo. Come on. 
gosh, honestly. And then it missed. Man, can't catch a break. Hey, hypnosis finally missed. One more. All right, good work. And level up for kangaroo. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Save state. Uh, let's see here. Oops. Well, let's see. Do I want to use a potion? Let's not yet. Yeah, yeah. Silver beat the sage. You treat Pokemon too harshly. Pokemon are not tools of war. You only care about strong Pokemon to win every time? Well, how come you've still got your Cyndaquil since I beat you last time? Doesn't make any sense, Silver. Doesn't make any sense at all. All right, Spearow versus Elder. Let's do this. Bellsprout? No problem. Peck? One hit KO. Hoot hoot. Okay, here's where things get a little bit more interesting. Uh, you stay in for a bit, Vivera. Hit it with a growl first. Good call. Now two leers. Okay. All right, now kangaroo, it's your show. Bam! Yeah, those leers definitely had an effect. Oh, stupid hypnosis. What a pain. Still, thanks to those growls, the Hoot Hoot's only doing one damage to Kangaroo, so he's in good shape regardless. Still, all this sleeping is annoying. All right, good work. Another... God damn it! Anybody else think that move has more hip, more accuracy than is advertised? I've been at... That thing has only missed me once since I got in this damn tower. One more tackle. Take it down. All right. Good work. Level 8. Very good. Rock Polish. Useless move. And last one's a Bell Sprout. I think we can trust Starburst to take care of this. Yeah, that's not too bad. You can handle this. One more... Well, I was going to say one more quick attack will do it, but that one did it. <laughs> nice and easy. Good work, Starburst. All right. TM Flash. Yay, thanks. I can fully explore Dark Cave. Not that I have any reason to. Thanks for your help, Elder. And grab me an escape rope. And I'm not even going to use it because I'd like to grind some on the way out. Uh, yeah, Oscar needs a bit of grinding. So if I come across something he can kill on the way out, then uh, I'll let him do it. But in the meantime, we're just going to exit. And I think I'm going to make this a reasonably short video. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, head to the route uh, south of the city, make a catch there, and I'll go ahead and go catch uh, what's almost certain to be an unknown in the ruins of Alf. You know what? Let's just get you that... Uh, hmm. Actually, the Ghastly doesn't have anything that can hurt you, Vivera. So, just kill it. But anyway, as I was saying before I really interrupted, it will be almost certainly be a, uh, um, a unknown in the Ruins of Ulf. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and catch one of those there. Um, and uh, that'll be the end of the episode after I do those two things. So let's get moving and get on that. Exiting the tower. Only one more ladder... A lot of ladders in this place. One more ladder. There we go. And so we will exit Sprout Tower, having accomplished what we needed to, much to my joy. Run down and heal our dudes, and then we'll go make a couple of catches, and that'll be the episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. I hope this series is something that you guys have been enjoying. Um... Of course, I can't know that for certain. Uh, but I mean, I get in, seems like I'm getting more and more comments as I go forward. The more of these videos I do, so I'm just going to keep doing them. And I, I, 
seems like you guys are enjoying it, so we're just going to keep it up. I mean, I got no reason not to. I'm probably going to play these games either way, so I may as well do it for an audience, you know? People are willing to watch. Okay, so we're going to get... Uh, find our way out the south of Violet City to hit that route that, unless I'm mistaken, does have a pretty decent amount of electric types on it. And if I can get one of those, I'd be thrilled beyond belief. Uh, I could certainly use an electric type to take on Faulkner. But let's see what I find. Kind of hoping for the best here. Let's see what Route 32 has in store for us. Whooper. Nice. Quagsires are pretty bro. I think I will be glad to get one of these. Uh-oh, I poisoned it. Okay, let's get it to slightly lower health, and then we'll just start chucking balls at it until it, until it stays in one. <laughs> and hope I don't kill it off, because that would be real frickin' bad. Okay, one more poison sting. Okay, now time to huck some balls. Hey, first try. So, we got a whooper. Now we need to randomly noun generate. Sleet the whooper. Okay. It's sort of tangentially related to water, so that'll work out, I guess. Sleet. Okay. And even better, it went to the box, so it gets healed. All right. So we got a whooper. That's cool. Now let's uh, pop over here to the Ruins of Alf, catch ourselves an unknown, which we will never use. Well, let's see, we got to activate it first by completing that puzzle, right? Da, da, da. Okay, that's the exit to the Ruins of Alf after you complete the puzzle. Hope I'm not spoiling anything for you guys, but I thought everyone knew that by this point. So, I'll run up here to this building, which is not really a building at all, but there is a hidden potion in there, which I will gladly grab. And then we exit the building this way, go in this building. Any hidden items in here? Doesn't look like it. And then we go in this building to talk to this explorer person. We're reconstructing ancient Pokemon puzzles. Okay. And there's a panel in the back here. What's this say? Escape. In unknown writing. Okay, let's do the puzzle. This should be easy. Hmm, you need to be rotated, don't you? How do you rotate? remember how to rotate the puzzle pieces. Hang on. Let me ask her again. By touching them for a short time. Oh, just gotta click it. Okay, that makes sense. So. Oh, wait. That goes there. goes there. This goes there. This goes there. Whaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Razor Leaf. Survive this? Okay. Yeah, that must have been a, some kind of special attack based hidden power. Can't believe I lost Oscar. That sucks. Well, I guess we got room for Sleet in the party now, so I guess it's alright. Uh, sure. Random noun generator? Slice! It seems to be stuck on S. Alright, Slice the Unknown. I'm never going to use you. Because you're useless. And you killed my Beedrill. My soon-to-be Beedrill. It'll never be a Beedrill, and it's your fault. So, not happy. Not happy at all. But, well, it's a Nuzlocke. That sort of shit happens. I did not expect him to what one-hit KO my Kakuna. Fucking unknown. I should never have come here. Ugh. Oh, well. What's done is done. And you gotta move on. It's crappy, but... It's just the result of things that happen in Nuzlocke's. So, let's... Oh yeah, it's Route 36. This dude over here gives us HM06, does he not? Thank you, Rock Smash. I wonder if I even have anybody that can use this who would want it in the first place. Alright, thanks, Fat Man. Alright, back into Violet City. Let's go ahead and... Um, uh, put our Kakuna to rest. I'm not happy about that. I really kind of... What in the devil... Oh, another happy-go-lucky bug. Let me respawn the city and see if that fixes itself. Nope. Oh, wow. This is fun. And my uh, icon over there on the right has messed up, too. Oh, it's getting worse. Okay. Son of a ball sack. Well, my Kakuna isn't dead because the game is no longer playable. Awesome bug game. Awesome bug. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my last save state, which is up in Sprout Tower. Okay, that's not too far back. Um, well, what the hell. Uh, I'll uh, pause the video here, and I guess I'll restart it when I get back to... Uh, Route 32 to catch a whooper or whatever else happens there. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, let's see if the game gives me a whooper or something else here. I mean, I'll take a whooper. Whoopers are cool. Ekins? Well, I've never used an Ekins slash Arbok before, but well, now seems like a decent opportunity. I mean, it's not like I'm going to get another shot at it. Okay, Bavera's poisoned. So let's get going with the balls now. And Eh, that was easy. Alright guys, I'm going to catch an unknown off-camera. So you guys don't have to watch that again. Let's go ahead and generate a name for our Ekins. Seriously? I just didn't want another S. But Flugelhorn is so much better. <laughs> All right, welcome to the team, Flugelhorn the Akins. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've got to go back to the uh, box here and decide on a bit of a team uh, to take down Faulkner, who's, you know, as you know, flying type. So the only one I really need to have is... Um, uh, my Geodude, because that's my counter for Faulkner. But, um... You know, the other five slots... The Poison faded off of a very... Yeah, that's another thing. After f fourth edition... The fourth series, the fourth... Games, the fourth generation... Poison doesn't kill your Pokemon anymore. It just knocks them down to one, and then it runs out. Which is something that's good to know... But anyway, so let's uh, have a look at the box here. 
Mm. So we have Hoot Hoot and Eakins, Geodude, Ghastly, Centret, Weedle, Spiro, and Chikorita. Probably I'm definitely going to use those three because they're my high, they're my uh, highest level guys along with the Centret. Oscar, Saw, and Flugelhorn. I only need two of these guys. So, that's a pretty good, um, that's a pretty good, uh, nature for an Ekans. Minus special attack plus special defense. But, uh, guys, what I need to know now is of the three, um, between Flugelhorn, uh, Oscar, and Saw, who should be in my team? Now, if I'm going to keep using Kangaroo and Saw, I'm going to need to get Poke Sav. Uh, to evolve them uh, into Gengar and Golem at just, you know, some acceptable level, which, you know, I'll leave up to you, my viewers. Probably like 36, because that's what level a lot of, uh, um, you know, these types of all that starter types. Uh, and I, I will do that. If, if I'm going to use these guys, I am going to have to evolve them into their final evolutionary forms. But, you know... Uh, leave in the message which of those three gets left out because I really ought to know guys um, and then that'll also tell me who I should be grinding to take on Faulkner I'm gonna get everybody to at least level 10 uh, that's the trouble of starting over starting a run you got to get everybody up to the right levels but um yeah so let me know what you guys think who should be in the team this is the first decision we've got to make I save the game there, and I save the game here, and I end the recording. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, please like and subscribe and follow if you want to do all those things. And uh, let me know who gets left out of the party of six. Uh, I guess in the end, that glitch was a uh, blessing, because it means that our bee drill doesn't no longer exist. But uh, let me know, guys, where I should be going with this. I've got seven to go on a team of six, so someone's got to get left out. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.